The BJP has released its second list of candidates ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. The party today released the names of 67 candidates after a long CEC meet. Narendra Modi will be contesting from Vadodara as a second seat. A, a move that may be viewed as playing safe since heavyweights such as Arvind Kejival and in all likelihood Digvijay Singh are pitted against him. From Varnasi. Disappointment has come LK Advani's way as he has been fielded from Gandhinagar constituency. Sources had stated that the leader was keen on contesting from Bhopal instead. Hema Malni will be contesting from Mathura. The BJP has released its second list of candidates ahead of the Lok Sabha. Polls of the party today release the names of 67 candidates after a long CEC meet. Narendra Modi will be contesting from Vadodara as a second seat, a, view, a move that may be viewed as playing safe since heavyweights such as Arvind Kejival and in all likelihood Dig Vijay Singh are pitted against him from Varanasi. Disappointment has come LK Advani's way as he has been fielded from Gandhinagar constituency. Sources had stated that the leader was keen on contesting from Bhopal instead. Hema Malni will be contesting from Mathura constituency. With the Election Commission opening the doors for candidates to file their nominations, big wigs of state politics made a beeline to the Election Commission centres. Take a look as to who stepped out to make their candidature official today. EC sets the ball rolling for LS polls. With the Lok Sabha elections fast approaching, pre-poll preparations are gaining steam in the state. The process of filing nomination began in 127 Lok Sabha constituencies in 16 states. In Karnataka, two of the doors for candidates to file their nomination open today. An array of leaders filed their nomination papers from their respective constituencies to make their candidature official. Anant Kumar, Bangalore South. Incumbent Bangalore South MP Anant Kumar filed his nomination at the BBMP office in Jayanagar. The Bangalore South parliamentary seat has remained in the BJP's possession for a long time now. Anand Kumar, who has been elected as MP five times in a row, will be challenged by Nandan Nilakani, who is fighting on a Congress ticket. A stiff fight is expected from the constituency. Before filing his nomination, Anand Kumar performed puja at the Dodda Ganapati Temple in Baswangudi. The BJP General Secretary was confident that the people of Bangalore South will elect him for the sixth time. Nama Bengalore Mahajanate Arne Marge Nanige Seu Malik Okosha Kutu Bengalore Nali Abruti a six year hotel in their entrance. Anant Kumar's Modi Anant Kumar team would help the BJP sweep the polls. Bengalore bit to Hartaila. Anand Kumar bit to Modi Ila, Modi bit to Anand Kumar Ila. Idondo, Anya Madanta Jodi. Now the Idondo Jodi Nirmana Malik is Sadeh. Manjunath Bandari, Shimoga. Although a newbie to electoral politics, Bandari is all set to lock horns with BJP's big wig, Dapa, and the first daughter in law of Sandalwood's first family, Geeta Shivaraj Kumar who is contesting on a JDS ticket. Banda was to go the populist way to file his nomination. The Congress candidate from Shimoga took out a rally from KSRTC bus stand to the Deputy Commissioner's office with an ocean of supporters. They were seen celebrating Bandari's nomination with dance and music.
Many Congress leaders, including District in Charge Minister Kim Mane Ratnakar and Urban Development Minister Vinay Kumar Sorake, were spotted at the rally. Bhandari's move to file his nomination today has raised many eyebrows in the state Congress. KPCC President G. Parameshwara had said yesterday that Bandari's nomination should be stalled for some time as a chorus to feel Kumar Bangarappa from Shimoga was getting louder within the party. Party leaders, though, tried to downplay the incident. <laughs> Bandari too echoed Ratnakar's words. The Congress candidate said that the party would win from Shimoga constituency with a big margin. Yaudadru Vundu Sanna, Yaudadru Binamata Vidre, Namajilla Congress in a Dekshru, Hagunama Jilla Usuri Mantrigolo, Kanditwagio, Auratra Mata, either Bage, Undu Nirdarun Tikundo, Namajote, Utiki Seri Congress Pakshakino Kelsamar. Congress Pakshada, Abimani Golo, Karia Kartro, Ivatina Vundu, Ipada, Tril Bago Isidro, Idundan and Nodbeka, and Kanditwagino, Congress Pakshana, Congress Pakshali, Undu Attenta, Adikamataka in the Gilter and Tele. There was a glitch in Bandari's nomination as he forgot to submit the B form. Congress leaders, though, said that the Election Commission has given time until 26 March to submit the B form. Vinay Kumar Sorake said that no candidate would be allowed to file his nomination without the consent of the High Command and that Bandari would submit his B form before the 26th. <laughs> KH Muniappa, Kolar. The Congress candidate came with thousands of supporters to the District Election Authority's office to file his nomination. District Congress President Anil Kumar, Vidhan Parishad member Nasir Ahmad, and Muniappa's wife were with him during the filing of nomination. Untoward incidents were also reported just ahead of the nomination filing. Congress supporters indulged in a verbal feud with the police when the latter stopped them from entering the election authority's office. The ruckus settled down after senior Congress leaders intervened and pacified their supporters and the police. M. Krishnappa Tumkur JDS candidate M. Krishnappa became one of the party's first leaders to file his nomination. He first performed puja at Goluru Ganapa temple in the district. A few other leaders have said that they will file their nomination at a later date. Actor turned politician Ramya announced she will file her nomination papers on the 24th of March. The Mandya MP made the announcement on Twitter. Change of plans will be filing my nomination on 24th of March. Former Chief Minister Dharam Singh will file his nomination from Bidar tomorrow. The senior Congress leader is expected to be joined by Chief Minister Siddharamaya and KPCC President G. Parmeshwar. The duo is expected to arrive in Bidar tomorrow to take part in a party workers' meet. Congress candidate from Udupi Chikmangluru constituency, Jay Prakash Hegde, will file his nomination on the 26th. The Congress leader will file his nomination at 11 a.m. and then take part in a party workers' meet. Jay Prakash, who is a sitting MP from the constituency, is set to lock horns with BJP's Shobha Karan Laje, a former cabinet minister. With 28 seats, Karnataka will play a major role in the national electoral circles. Considering all that, stern battles are surely on the cards in the state. A new stand report. When elections are around the corner, politicians indulging in party hopping is very common. So who are the politicians who are contemplating party hopping? Let's find out. Rakshita does it again. She ditches JDS for BJP. Suntaragali to strike Mandya.
in what seems to be a desperate attempt to contest from Mandya in the upcoming general elections, actress Rakshita has decided to quit the JDS party. She has announced it loud and clear that she will be joining BJP tomorrow. The actress who openly expressed her willingness to contest from Mandya seemed determined about winning. Earlier in the day, JDS leader Chaluvaraya Swami tried to pacify the infuriated actress, but looks like Rakshita had already made up her mind to ditch the second party for the third one. Meanwhile, Rakshita's opponent in Mandya came out in open in the backdrop of speculations of dissent between her and G. Made Gauda. The Mandya MP rubbished the matter, stating it was a mere media speculation. She stated that she does not believe the senior Congress leader had complained to the party president against her. On the contrary, Ramya stated that Made Gauda had given her his blessings and the two were in good terms. Just yesterday, there were rumours that G. Made Gauda had written to Parmeshwara stating that Mandya MP was disrespectful to senior party leaders. It was also claimed that she was not in control of the situation in her constituencies. Sangliana upset with Congress. A former Congress MP seemed to be doing the opposite ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. H.T. Sangliana was visibly upset with Congress for not giving a ticket to anyone from the Christian community. He is even contemplating to join JDS after talks with Deve Gowda and H.D. Kumaraswamy over the phone. I was sent to Parliament uh, Lok Sabha by the people of Karnataka. I was very happy because I could represent the state uh, in Parliament mm -hmm. on issues which will be many mm -hmm. and as I expected I had done uh, as much as I could as best as I could mm -hmm. and I feel proud that God had given me that opportunity to help so many people who are in trouble like now I want to ask you in all this did you make the move to JDS or did you make the first move they made the first move indeed mm -hmm. um, Tansing, who is in charge of uh, the entire city, had called me up and asked me if I, they could come and see me. Mr. Ratan Singh was one, one, uh, one of my supporters when I was in BJP. Mm. We were together in BJP. Mm. Being an old friend, I said yes, he came along. Mm. And then while we were chatting, he proposed that I should join the JD and they wanted me to, to be a member there. Mm. So. Then he connected me to Mr. Devagoda. Mm. Mr. Devagoda spoke to me and he too said, if you could come and join us, we'll be the happiest people. Mm. So we are there. Let us work together. Mm. We'll, we'll, it will be a good combination on that. And, and in all this, you haven't made your final decision. You will be announcing it in the next few days. What are the chances that you will join and contest? It will mainly depend on the support. I'll continue to command and control sort of uh, in the coming days. BSY's close aide joins Congress. He was the close aide of BS Yadurapa for over three decades, but now he has bid goodbye to the former chief minister and joined Congress. Yes, MD Lakshmi Narayana has come out of BJP once and for all, stating the Saffron Party doesn't value his presence. He claimed that the only two people who benefited by rejoining BJP were Shobha Karan Lajay and Udasi.